Today we are going to demonstrate a digital clock based on Node MCU. So here we have a Node MCU attached to this OLED and a digital clock. The time is fetched from Word API. So I will show you uh, how I attached the LCD with my Node MCU. And let's move back to the screen. So first, when we uh, press a reset on our, let's move back to our code. I have two code uh, regarding one is using a plain uh, method using a millis function here in this code. We are going to interface using the add a fruit SSD 1306 uh, uh, library and GF GFX graphics library and uh, 0x3c is the uh, address of the lcd this is how we initialize the lcd and we provide a starting time and for this uh, we start to allocate the lcd and we just clear the display after that what we do is we at every loop we clear the display and we populate current time based on the current millis and add the starting time to it and we populate at the R minute and second out of that milliseconds and then we simply simply display that time so that's how we make a simple digital clock but after that I had implemented the code uh, for fetching from the world time API because we are using node MCU so we have option to connect it to Wi-Fi and once we connect it to Wi-Fi, we can fetch the time from the Word API. If you try to fetch this, it will return a JSON like this. You can create time from the units time or you can simply parse the date time string. This is what I had done. I created a function to parse the time where I simply uh, indexing the t character in the time and after that the plus sign this is the value where my time is and i make the substrings and return the r minute and seconds i had has the values r minute and second by reference so that it is updated right there i use this function here and I print that time to serial then I display that time to LCD and this check is if the R is less than 10 I need to display a leading zero and that's how I display the time I will leave the code link in the comment and the time zone I'm using is Asia Karachi and I need to append that time zone to my word API call so that's how it will connect with my Wi-Fi and uh, I will get time from API and make a JSON object then using dynamic JSON document I will deserialize the JSON and then I will have this date time string as well as time zone how i send the call to the api it is very simple i create a wi-fi client then an http client and then i begin the http client with that wi-fi client and pass that the time api url which is my api word api url and then I make a get request and if the HTTP code is greater than zero it means the HTTP code is okay we can get the payload string and then end the string and then return that payload otherwise we'll just simply print that fail to connect to the time API and end this string and return empty string so that's how we can work and here you can see uh, this is the string returned from the time and here is the past value 21 15 and 16 according to my time it is 9 15 pm so that's how the time is displayed and if you are able to see in the screen uh, this is how it looks like